guess you're probably really confused right now, huh? I should probably explain everything. You know, I had this all worked out in my head beforehand. I was like, okay, when he wakes up, I'm gonna tell him what is going on. And then it was like, when it happened, I just I froze up. I just kept looking at you. I didn't know what to say. I just felt so emotional, but I couldn't get it out. I, I just felt that my heart started to beat faster, and I started feeling clammy, and I don't know. I, I just couldn't say anything, but... but uh, Sorry, this is probably really embarrassing. Um, okay, so a bit of an explanation for why you're all tied up, right? Well, I was scared for your safety. Being completely honest here, I, um, I knew that someone was gonna hurt you. I just knew it. I couldn't let that happen to you. I, if I knew that was going to happen and I just sat by and let it happen, I mean, what kind of person would I be? See, the way that you got here was, um, well, you see, funny story, um, you know Amy, right? Um, of course you do talk to her all the time, and you guys have English together, like, we have English together, and then I'm pretty sure that you guys also have science together, which we don't have together, but I can, I can change that too. Um, but anyways, so, I, I heard news in the girls' locker room that Amy was gonna confess her love to you, which... That can't happen. If she was gonna do that, then then everything would be ruined. You don't understand. It would it would be so ruined, and I I just couldn't lose you that way. That that would that would hurt me, and then in turn hurt you. Do you get now? Someone was going to hurt you now, and and that would just be. Devastating, you know. Uh, but, but I, I, I did something, okay. Um, I actually uh, planned to meet with Amy after school, and uh, we started hanging out a bit. I, I planned this uh, about a week ago to, to do all of this. It was kind of sudden, but. Being around you and noticing you and just the emotions that I feel around you, I, I, I couldn't sit back and not do anything about it. So, so I devised a plan, you know. Um, I, I talked to Amy and, you know, she believed that her and I were becoming friends, which she's not a horrible girl. But she just got in the way. So, eventually, uh, I ended up getting rid of her. <laughs> I'll say it like that. Uh, so, um, that's why she wasn't in class today. Um, and she's probably not gonna be in class ever again. So, oops. But that's okay, we don't need her anyway, you know? It's just us, and that's all that matters, so... So what happened is... Then I, I took her phone, and I saw that she had your number saved. And I texted you, and I told you to meet me under the cherry blossom tree. You know, you guys had met there before. And I would watch you guys together, and it looked like you were having so much fun, but... That, that shouldn't have been happening. We were supposed to be under the cherry blossom tree together. Not you and her. So... Then... 
then that's when you came to meet her under the tree and you waited and I watched and you waited and I watched and then you texted her which made the phone buzz and I was for sure that you had heard it I didn't think that you had texted her and I was totally caught off guard about turning the sound off but I don't think you heard it so we were okay there and then I finally snapped back to reality, you know, and I, I creeped up behind you and I went, boop, <laughs> just pooped you on the head with a, uh, what was it, a pipe, yeah, a pipe, a metal pipe to be exact, and then you fell to the ground, but you didn't die, you were okay, I knew you'd be okay, I knew exactly where to hit you and that you'd be okay. So, um, but yeah, that's probably why you woke up with the slight headache, so, um, but, yeah, and now we're here. <laughs> I, I think it's kind of embarrassing, you know, because I just, I care for you so much. I've never really had any sort of emotion before towards anything and I'm sure I seemed quite lonely and to myself in class I sat exactly two rows behind you and uh, I don't think you ever noticed me I think the only time that you did notice me was when I had to introduce myself when I first transferred here and then after that we never spoke but but you were the first person that that I noticed and you actually held the door open for me one time that was when I knew that I loved you it was that moment that you held the door open and I could smell your cologne. It just has this welcoming smell that I knew that I loved you and it felt like everything all of a sudden changed in my world that I, I suddenly saw things in color and, and no longer just felt like the, this existential dread of living my life and going to class and doing homework and getting a grades and then going and playing sports and then going back home and then going to class and it was just how my parents wanted to see me you know as this perfect student but but every day was the same it went over and over and over and over and then You were something different. You were something different in my daily events. You changed everything. I then started to notice so much about you. The way you'd move your hair behind your ear and then you had a nervous habit of chewing on the tip of your pencil whenever you were confused about something, but you always eventually ended up getting the right answer because you're smart and you're so talented and you're, you're so different than anyone I've ever known. And I noticed that you have a favorite jacket, the, the blue one that kind of has the puffy sleeves, you know? And every day you wait on your sister to pick her up and then take her home which, don't worry about her I, I got someone else to take her home so she should be safe um, but you know you and I together we're safe here uh, I think it's important that you understand how much I care about you. I know that 
eventually people are going to come look for you. And that's okay. Because you're so amazing. So many people care about you. I mean, who couldn't, right? I was stupid to not notice you until a few weeks ago. And and it, it would be crazy, you know, for for me to let those people find you, right? So, slowly but surely, I've devised a plan that allows me to get rid of the problems. I've already gotten rid of Amy. Um, I officially have to get rid of her, though. She's just sort of sitting in the back of the room um, under some blankets, so... Just have to figure a way to get rid of everything and the evidence, and then we should be good. But then I have to think about your friends and the police, and then your family, and... It's okay. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Don't, don't worry, don't. I, I promise it's gonna be okay. I am just gonna get it to where it's just us. Okay, it's just, it's just us together, right? 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 You understand? I mean, have you ever had anybody care about you like this? I've already done so much for you. Some things I've done you haven't even noticed. Like, one time on an exam, I saw you actually had gotten an answer wrong, which shocked me. But I realized that somebody had changed their test with yours. So I ended up getting rid of their test completely and giving you your test back. But see, if I hadn't done that, if I hadn't been looking out for you, you would have failed that test. Because somebody else was greedy, but I got rid of that test. And if you notice, then they, they had an injury the next day, <laughs> which, oops, I mean, <laughs> come on, and it, it happens, and they had just fallen, and, you know, I, I had looked out for you, and someone tried to steal your bike, and I've looked out for your sister a full, uh, you know, a full day or two, and when people tried to bully her. Yeah, I, I know about the bullies, and, and I made sure that they would never bully her again. So she should be okay. <laughs> yeah. She's a sweet girl. Well, if you don't mind, I, I think it's probably time for us to get ready to have dinner together. So, I'll go and prepare those things, and I hope you like spaghetti. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for us to be together forever. This is so exciting. Oh, I just love you so much. 